also by the title of this video, <laughs> your boy bought a daily, kinda, I don't know. Finna go to the Brian's house and uh, pick up my new um, daily, I guess you could say. Uh, sorry, it's not an RSX, if you're wondering, it's not an Evo. Don't worry, I'm still getting those cars. I'm just trying to find the perfect RSX and then when I have enough coins saved up, I will get my Evo. But for now, I need something to get around so when this car uh, starts getting reconstructed and rebuilt and all the other jazz, uh, I need to get around and stuff so I can do parts runs and still hang out with Randy and uh, stuff like that. So without further ado, let's uh, get over to Brian's crib. Yo, I remember like a couple years ago, my teacher said I look like Oscar from Shark Tale. Do y'all see it? I just got dropped off at Brian's house and this is what I'm picking up today, bro. <sighs> Brian has sold me his Integra. I cannot believe it. Yeah, he's here. He's taking a deuce. My bad, Brian. So yeah, this is the car I'm picking up today. 1998 Acura Integra. Did he leave it unlocked for me? Wow, he left it unlocked for me. So this is the new daily, boys. I bought another Integra for my mom. It's gonna be a project car for my mom. And I uh, got the JDM block off plate, boy, and guess what? Yeet the tea! Boy, got a radio, boy, boy, clean. Got the hot leather seats so my ass get warm. Look at that, bro, old school seat warmers, boy. Well, Brian, told people I just bought the my daily, bro. I was like, can't believe you sold it to me, man. It is nice, bro. Wow. All it needs is wheels, and I'm clean. Mint paint job. It's a 95, what's a 98 special? Came out of 98, bro. Kanye touched this, boy. But no, seriousness, I did not come to get the Integra. I came to get this, boy. I need a little ruck ruck. That boy, that boy got two ruckuses, bro. Not no more, bro. Smart now. <laughs> so this is the one I'm picking up today, uh, the white one. This is Lewis, the guy with the purple Miata you seen in uh, the last video, I guess. Yeah, it would be last video, even though I haven't edited and uploaded it yet. But so this is he did. This is custom, right? Like he wanted it this way. Yeah. Yeah. Red ruck style. I think that's pretty white sick. Walls, Mad Max, boy. Mad Lewis. <laughs> we're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. I got a cup holder too? Yeah, boy. Clean. Man, that is pretty loud. That's no muffler. No muffler, boys. It is a 2011 Honda Ruckus. Legit ruckus, not the clone I used to have before, so ain't too bad. It's gonna be a fun project. I just need to get around town and stuff like that. So when my car's down, I have something to get around, and if I don't feel like driving, I can just take this to go pick up food or something like that. So that's why I'm picking up the ruckus today. So give me something to do. The tire doesn't look that bad either, so that's pretty dope. Looks fun. Looks, 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 looks fun. I should have brought the GoPro, but I didn't. Put it right. And they got a GoPro out there. But we're gonna ride out, and I can't film and vlog at the same time, so. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Y'all see me back. <laughs> so I just made it home. We made it home safe and sound. Yo, this thing is fast, bro. But this is the daily, boy. This is daily. So all my ruckus owners out there, what would be the first thing you guys replace to make dope? I'm going to try to get these. And, uh, I'm going to see if I can get an LED bar. Because I've I seen that on one uh, guy around here. And this thing was clean. So I'll probably get an LED bar. Okay. It has password JDM um, handlebars. What else it has, Brian? It got an aftermarket rear light, too. So that's cool. Handlebars and stretch. It's stretched. Gas tank cover. I didn't. I thought they all had it, but that one don't have it because it's factory. So that's this is a uh, aftermarket. That little coil pack thing. I don't know. Yeah, that coil. I'm. Yeah, that's actually a coil pack, bro. That's like a, a coil pack. Password. What is this right here? The stretch? Yeah. Oh, that's a stretch chain. Okay. Yeah, and I got a cup holder, bro. So when I have my lean right here, boy, I'm good. <laughs> I be going off the yike, bro. Just caught me a rook, dog. He only got a thousand miles on it, boy. Brian's also gonna be a cop. I don't think I told y'all that. He gonna narc. He gonna catch me riding with no tag, boy. <laughs> My first bus is me. I'll be honored, bro. So uh, I'm gonna go buy a tag for this thing right now. Cause my cousin can't find us. What I gotta sign? You gifting it too? Yeah. Hey, it's gifted, boy. No taxes. Gonna head to the DMVsers. I'm gonna get my wallet. Leaving the DMV and I spot a Civic Type R. And I gotta be that guy to take up the whole spot. But uh, got the, oh, it fell off. Oh man, a bolt fell off. So, but I got my 
um, tag right here. Little thing was 130 bucks. Not too bad. While I'm driving illegally, I'm gonna head up to O'Reilly and uh, get some stuff from Tucker and uh, get this thing back together so I could be whipping around town. Could not talk about how much I got it for because I know you guys are like, oh, but you bought it for, bro. So I'll talk to you guys about that. So let's uh, drive up to O'Reilly and uh, show Tuck Tuck. That boy got a tag, boy. Thanks to the good people over at O'Reilly's. By good people, I mean Tuck Tuck. Tuck Tuck always got your boys back. Yo, this thing's fun though, bro. Like, I can't wait to make this thing my own though. What do you think? This thing, green frame, yellow tire letters, black wheel, or maybe even stay white the white wheel. Uh, I gotta get a air box for it. I gotta get a um, filter. I'm gonna do like get rid of that and put a filter on it so I can look dope. And yeah, it's pretty dope for the most part. We would have said what up to Tug, but his manager's in there, and I don't want to get Tug in trouble. Even though Mac is still cool, but there's a lot of business going on in there, and I don't want to be that guy. So. We're gonna come back later to see Tuck, but for now, let's get home and talk about the Ruckus and future plans with it and why I got it instead of buying a car and all the other crap that you guys are probably asking. And let's get home. So I'm just getting back home and I see a package with my name on it and it's pretty big. I have no idea. Actually, I do. I'm lying. I know exactly what it is. But it's a freaking mini fridge, bro. It's from a company called Beware. They reached out to me about a week ago and I got it freaking fast, bro. Uh, they reached out to me and was like, yo, we love the video. We want to send you something. All you got to do for us, just, you know, talk about it. See if you like it. You know, if you like it, tell your fans about it. And so I'm just looking at the diagram on the box and the features. <laughs> I think I'm going to like it, but uh, let's get it open up and see exactly what it is in, in its entirety. So here we have my brand new mini fridge beat. And look at that, boy. Nobody can steal my Capri Suns no more. Ha <laughs> ha. Snooze, you lose. Whoa, that's tight. It's like a wine cooler. I could put, dang, my Buffalo Wild Wings. Smell like Jolly Rangers are in here. Ooh, smell delicious, boy. If I can put my Buffalo Wild Wings, you know what I'm saying? My ranch, uh, sweet and sour sauce packets, mango habanero sauce, uh, Slim Jims, and right here, bro, we're gonna have the Arizona slash V8 juice on fleek, son. But if I need more room, these come out, and I can just insert them up higher if I want. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty dope. Now, like I told you guys, every time I do like a sponsorship type thing, you know I got your back. So all you gotta do is click the link down below. And if you don't wanna click the link down below, then hey, bro, how about you hear me verbally say this? If you would like a mini fridge or any other new air products, hey, bro, use code Zosh and get up to what, like 20% off? I think about 20% off? Yeah, about 20% off, fam. So if you're looking for a fridge like this, with me inside of it, I'll be like, so you open friend, I'm like, what up, Khalid? And go back to sleep. So if you're looking for a fridge like this, bro, hey. So if you like a mini fridge or like any other industrial products, such as a what industrial fan or something like that for your shop, use code Zosh. Click the link down below, and you will not be disappointed. Well, actually, I don't know yet. We got different cooling temps right here, ranges from zero to seven, and the LED light switch. And uh, yeah, let's just let's hook it up and uh, see how cold it gets and stuff like that. Man, that'd be pretty dope. Then we'll talk more about the rock. So I just set the fridge up. Um, I have the temperature on like five. Yeah, I guess five. Check out the LED light. Clean, boy. That boy clean. I'ma uh, put a beverage in here if I can find, put like a water bottle or something and uh, go film out the rest of the video, come back before I close it out and uh, give you guys, um, I guess like a simple little, quick little review and then like weeks from now, when like I have the fridge operating more and more and more and more and more, getting more use out of it, I'll give you guys an updated review of it. But for the most part, Hey, it's clean, bro. It's clean. Now that we got the fridge all hooked up and ready to go, let's talk about why I decided to buy this ruckus. Why, Zosh? Why'd you get a ruckus? What happened to the RSX, bro? What's going on? What blah 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 so the reason why I bought this Ruckus was uh, due to Brian. Brian was like, bro, you should buy Ruckus. Because him and Lewis got one. Lewis is the guy with the purple right hand dropped me out of. And I was like, yeah, bro, I'll get one. You know, just talking. But I really wanted one. Like, because he convinced me. He like, oh, it'd be three of us riding on Ruckus. That'd be dope. So I was like, all right. But I couldn't find one in my price range. Now, I didn't want to spend no more than $1,000 on a Ruckus. That was my, like, no more than 1000 Because I get a Ruckus clone. I didn't care that if it's a legit Ruckus. I just wanted something that can scoot, scoot, scoot. So last night, I seen that somebody posted they had a Ruckus for sale in my area for 
1400 bucks. Now it's a Ruckus clone. I was like, okay, I sent him an offer. I gave him a thousand dollar offer because like I said, I wasn't paying no more than a thousand dollars for a Ruckus because I don't really want one. I'm still trying to get my RS6. I'm still trying to buy an Evo for the end of this year. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm about to hit 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year for sure because the way I'm growing now, it's been a blessing, bro. It's been a huge, huge, huge blessing. So I hit up the guy last night. I was like, yo, would you take a thousand for it? He said, no. I said, okay, thanks. So then I sent Brian. I'm like, Brian, he won't sell me a fourth. I was like, man, what a sucker. Blah, blah, blah. So me and Brian got to talking about, you know, potential things and we're here and there. He's like, bro, just buy my rookie. So me and Brian got to talking. I was like, oh, I'm going to do give him uh, 900 plus my coils. And I was like, how much you just want for the rookie itself? He's like, just give me 1200 and it's yours. So fast forward the next morning, which is today, I gave him $1,200 for it and I got me a ruckus. To all my ruckus owners who have parts that I you see that I could need for this, um, let me know. I will be interested in buying some parts to make this ruckus dope. I made up my man Chris Diaz and see if he can uh, paint this green for me and then do like yellow tire letters or something cool like that. Now, I don't know if ruckus parts go by year, but I have a 2011 ruckus. Uh, um, I don't know if it matters or anything like that, but uh, if you have any parts for sale, like, I don't know, like, uh, um, Whatever you guys see that I need, because I don't know nothing about ruckus. I'm going to watch the videos and stuff like that. Uh, get up to date about, you know, cool things about ruckus and stuff like that. But uh, it's a 49cc, obviously. Uh, it's not a Grom, so it ain't have, like, the big boy motor. But, hey, bro, it works. And things pretty fast, too. Um, I need a muffler on it. It has no exhaust. All it has is that little pipe right there. That's all it have. I got to get another peg. Got a GoPro mount, which is pretty dope. So if I ever want to put the GoPro on it, to show you guys some driving stuff. Uh, that's cool. But I think that's pretty much it for this part of the video. We're going to wait a couple more hours until my fridge get all developed and whatnot then i'm gonna give you guys like a little review of the fridge and stuff like that i hope you guys are interested now i know when i do like those type of videos where like it's a mini fridge and not like a car product and you guys are like yo bro we're not gonna buy that but i'm just saying if, now i completely understand that if you guys don't get a fridge you know what i'm saying not gonna really hurt me but like it's just a blessing to me that like companies aside from cars want to send me products to review to you guys so you guys can potentially be interested and i just think that's honestly dope so even if you guys check out the website it'd be great Greatly appreciated from me and from the company. All right, so it's hours later. Uh, my drink is cold. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. You can't. I. This is pointless. I just realized how pointless this was. But it's brick, bro. Like it's on the coldest setting, which is seven, and it's like perfectly cold. Like it ain't brick, brick, but it's like. And if you don't know what brick means, brick is like it's cold. I don't know where that term came from. I don't know why I use the term brick. But it's cold, bro, so... But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm so glad that my content is becoming content again. Thank God. I honestly cannot wait to get this ruckus build started. I'm still gonna be trying to find my perfect RSX. I'm still gonna be trying to save up as much as I can. Not even trying, but I'm still going to be saving up as much as I can to buy an Evo Cash because I don't like doing payments on anything. I hate payments, so I'm gonna try my hardest to pump out videos, get the content going, get some more um, blessings coming through the emails so your boy can get this Evo, you know what I'm saying? I also wanna say thank you to New Air for reaching out to me, for me to join this collaboration project they got going on. Um, I'm super stoked for the mini fridge. Well, beverage cooler. I <laughs> uh, can't wait to put it to use and put some V8 juices, you know what I'm saying? Some, um, um, um. If any of you guys are interested in getting your own beverage cooler, then I'll leave a link down below. And remember to use code Zosh for 20% off your order, son. Zosh is out here for the culture. I am for the culture. You know what I'm saying? And look how cool it is. It is clean. My room look kind of clean. But that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, get you a water bottle. I got this from 7 Smack that like button for me. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm out. Peace.